Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Diamond Dots at Home and to the Diamond Dots family. Thank you so much for joining me and taking part in our first test. Um, to make sure everything goes as smoothly as possible for you, we wanted to just open the box together with you, have a look what's inside and hopefully give some useful tips and tricks for dotting. Uh, inside we have three different designs. Each design we have three pieces. So, just opening. You have your, of course, beautiful thank you card and thank you so much from us. Um, then you have three fabric pieces, three hearts, three butterflies, and three shamrocks. With, you'll see on the bottom of the design, each design has its own item code. Now the item code on the design corresponds to the item code on your diamond pack. You have one diamond pack for each fabric piece. So you see DDAH Promo 001A on the diamond pack that matches has the same item code. So you make sure that you combine the right diamonds with the right fabric piece. Um, so before I open the diamonds, I will open the tool pack because it's very important to prime the head of the stylus with wax before you start dotting. Here we have the stylus, the soft grip, slides easily onto the head of the stylus, and wax pot and the tray. Now, about the wax pot, the wax has a very fine clear film on the top of the wax. It's important to peel that off to start with to reveal the surface of the wax. You take the stylus and gently scrape the head of the stylus across the wax. You want to temper the head so that it's got a, a good, good coating of wax. You can either press the stylus head into the wax or, or scrape across. Either works very well. But to start with, before the first dotting, you'll need to, you'll need to do that for, for a minute just to make sure you've got plenty of wax there. Uh, also a note about the wax. When you're not using it, remember to close the, head, the, the lid to, so it doesn't dry out if you've got air conditioning or very dry conditions. Okay, so we've got the wax on the stylus. So here's the diamond pack inside the heart design. You'll notice that each diamond pack has a shade number, A01, A02, 03, 04 and 05. These numbers are printed on the side of the design. You'll see A01 and the symbol, and this symbol directly matches to the symbol on the chart. You'll also notice that each symbol has a colour number. For example, this red, the diamond dots colour number is 8020. This is not so important, but it, the most important is that you match the diamonds in the packet A01 to this symbol when you're dotting. With the heart design, I probably will start with the the green because it's on the outer edges of the design and that way once you peel back the clear film your hand is not touching any of the sticky surface. I will take a pair of scissors and just cut the diamonds, the diamond pack I want to start with. I'm starting with the green which is A04 corresponding to the plus sign on the chart. I snip a small corner off the diamond pack and pour the diamonds into the tray. So you don't need to pour all the diamonds in, but enough. You have to leave space to shake the diamonds around. That it helps to have a bit of space in the tray. Now, the easiest thing to do to get the diamonds lined up is to give the tray a little shake because what you want is the diamonds to fall on the flat side in the grooves of the tray. Once they're on the flat side, it's very easy to put the head of the stylus over the round side of the diamond 
you gently touch the diamond and pick up. Now I will peel back my clear film first of all. Peel back to reveal the sticky surface. You can, you can use your beautiful gift to hold back the clear film. I hope you enjoy your gift. Now, back to dotting. I've picked up my, my diamond on the round side and I drop down onto the flat side. As I drop the diamond down, I twist off slightly. Just give a slight twist. This helps to position the diamond onto the symbol area exactly. You can reposition if you want. If you don't put it down exactly in the right place, you can use the head of the stylus to reposition. And that is the dotting technique. Very simple, very easy and extremely relaxing. Once you've finished with the colour and you have spare diamonds left over, you can use one, one of the baggies that's in the kit to store the diamonds. Uh, it's very easy. You use the pouring lip, lip of the tray just to pour the diamonds easily into the bag. I either uh, use a sharpie to write the colour number on the bag or you can also put the diamond pack, unused diamond pack inside so that you keep a record of the colour number. Because I'm sure after a while you'll be building a stash of diamonds and ready to do all sorts of projects. So thank you very much for watching today and I wish you every success with your first Diamond Dots at Home party. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us and we'll be very happy to help you. Thank you. Bye-bye.